now that we've talked about the different type, types of acids and bases, both strong and weak, it turns out we need to go back to talk about uh, different electrolytic properties. Now there are two, there are actually three types of electrolytes we can talk about. We've got strong electrolytes. weak electrolytes and then of course non-electrolytes okay so the three different scenarios that set up is that strong electrolytes cause uh, solutions to conduct electricity very well. Um, and they are, um, the examples or uh, types of strong electrolytes are soluble ionic compounds. like sodium chloride, um, sodium nitrate, um, and then of course our strong base types are soluble hydroxides, sodium hydroxide. So all of those uh, compounds ionize, or excuse me, dissociate 100%, forming 100% of the ions, uh, no ionic compounds left, and so those are strong electrolytes. And then the other type of strong electrolytes are strong acids that ionize 100% or donate 100% of their ions. And so those would be HNO3, like nitric acid, hydrochloric acid is another good example, or sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Uh, weak electrolytes um, conduct moderately because, of course, they do not produce 100% of their ions. Um, and of course, these examples are, are weak acids and bases. All right, so um, weak bases uh, tend to be nitrogen containing molecules like ammonia, we talked about, or when we talk about organic chemistry, eventually amines. So CH3NH2 is methylamine, that would be another weak base. And then weak uh, acids are, um, well, there's a lot of types of weak acids, but uh, primarily uh, one of the types is uh, molecules that contain what is known as a carboxylic acid group. And these are, of course, the most important biologically, um, are carboxylic acids, where a carbon is double bonded to an oxygen and single bonded to an oxygen, which is also bonded to a hydrogen. So we'll talk about that more in organic chemistry. But uh, those are examples of weak acids and weak bases. Acetic acid is another weak acid. That's formic acid. And here is a, a, a acetic acid, CH3COOH. Acetic acid uh, and vinegar, formic acid. And of course, we have uh, substances that do not conduct electricity when they are placed in water. And these would be neutral molecules, like uh, uh, sugar or glucose. Here's uh, C uh, sucrose, C12H22O11. It's a molecule, so it's not, it doesn't have. Uh, it is not an ionic compound that dissociates, and it's a molecule that doesn't have any acidic or basic properties. And so it's not going to ionize or accept or donate uh, protons. And so it does not conduct electricity because it does not. Um, create any ions in solution. Okay. Um, another thing we should talk about in terms of uh, acids and bases is how they react together. And of course, when they react, uh, they form a neutral solution if their concentrations uh, or if their or the moles of acid and bases are the same. And so they uh, produce a neutral solution. So these are often called neutralization reactions. Okay, so acids and bases neutralize each other. Okay, 
And uh, for strong acids and strong bases, uh, the uh, scenario would always be an acid plus a base equals a salt plus water is a, a very common saying. So let's have the nitric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide. All right. So this is a strong acid, so we know we really don't have any HNO3 in solution. What we really have is H plus ions and nitrate ions swimming around in solution. Sodium hydroxide is a soluble ionic compound, and so we know it dissociates 100%. So we really have sodium ions and hydroxide ions swimming around. So when they uh, are mixed, what happens is that the H plus ions are immediately attracted to the hydroxide ions and they will form water molecules. And of course, uh, sodium and nitrate may interact and they may produce a solid compound or they can stay aqueous. And so when I said an acid plus a base equals a salt plus water, any uh, salt is just a generic um, name for an ionic compound. Is like table salt is sodium chloride. So acids and bases always neutralize each other for strong acids and strong bases. Water is always produced um, in uh, that reaction and also a salt.